Dallas Johnny at JST Arms, and today we'll be discussing the differences between uh, the P mags. I don't have a Gen 1, but from what I heard with the Gen 1s, it's pretty much the same as the Gen 2s. Correct me if I'm wrong, but the only difference really with that is how you see this window here. There's polymer, same shape that's not see through on here, and then they added this. So, help them save money by doing that. But they're still the same function. So this is, uh, we'll start with the Gen 2s. These are the Generation 2s. Comes with the optional window. And uh, anti-tilt follower, and it's really an anti-tilt follower. You push in the front, it doesn't want to bind up. You push in the back, it doesn't want to bind up. Um, these are really smooth, very easy to uh, load. And then you got an indicator here as well. It's an orange indicator right there. Gen 2s, you can still buy them. But these are the new ones. These are the Gen 3s. It can come with a window, but I chose not to. A little bit cheaper. And it has these dimples. By having these dimples here, you can put number one mag, number two mag, or whatever you want to do. Get creative with it, put your name on there. If you're doing a lot of speed reloads with people around you, you want to put your initials on there, you can do so. Um, well, one thing I want to say that I forgot to say about the Gen 2s is this is a Gen 3. With the Gen 2s, it comes standard with the, the, the dust cover. Gen 3s, it doesn't have the dust cover. Correct me if I'm wrong, it might be vice versa. I'm pretty sure this one came with a dust cover. And now they make it so you have to buy these dust covers individually. But other than that, the Gen 3s are better. The reasons why I say so is due to the width right here, 1.185. And the Gen 3 is 1.1, 1, 1.108. So this one's a little bit thinner at the base. Also, if you noticed the size, the Gen 3 is a little bit longer. It still performs just as good as the Gen 2s, in my opinion. I've had no problems with it, and I've actually tested it. It's a really good magazine. And another thing I heard, these polymer and the Gen 3s are supposed to be stronger than the Gen 2s. Really, I can't, I can't tell the difference. I've had no problems with the Gen 2s, no problems with the Gen 3s. This is also a Gen 3. The 40 round magazine, like I said, they get the dimples. I put 40 round on there for an example. Um, I used a permanent marker and it stayed on pretty good because through the dimples, you try to rub it off, it's not going to rub off. Um, and I got it loaded with these dummy bullets, but it's the same exact follower, anti-tilt, and it works very, very, very good. Um, another thing I want to say about both of these is it has more protruded magazine stop compared to the Gen 2, it's more laid back, smoother stop. Overall, all these magazines work well, had no problems with any of them, Gen 2s, Gen 3s. Uh, like I said, I don't have a Gen 1, but I'm pretty sure it has the same internals, it's just a little bit less quality on the finish. Uh, what I mean by that is, like, the window here, the, even without the window here, there would be a polymer window filling it because what they had is the polymer fill there in this shape and they could just cut it out of the magazine so and then insert one of these clear windows in there so that way it's cheaper for production now they get away with that and they have their own separate mold and they are the same but just minus the window so all these mags are good I own I don't know how many P mags but the best magazine, in my opinion, are the P-Mags. These are number one. Now that concludes my video. Thank you for watching.